A month has passed since the Erujian declaration of war, and as the conflict escalates... Hey, Alex. Think there'll be any movement? No. Chances of regaining control of the space elevator are at 35%. No, no. I'm talking about the submarine that was missing, and his captain. No movement in the 215 days since their transfer to the reserve fleet. And this follows Erugia effectively declaring most of the Eugean continent and up to 80% of the IUN bases there to be... Erugia's pretty fired up. Are they really going to do nothing with that crazy weapon? Define crazy. The captain and his ship aren't part of the Erugian combat doctrine. Yeah, and that's exactly the problem. Maybe it'd be different if there was some big upset. Just maybe. Ooh, I saw this video at our cafeteria in college. That was 2004, so I was 15. Both a boast and an analogy, like David. This is around the time I got this job. With our own former president, Harling, instrumental in the reconstruction project. Which reminds me, that document's release was slated for this year, no? No, 2020. Ah, uh, yes, the Belkin War scandal, in which Osea allegedly... Oh, they're going back quite a bit. You know, I like the crazy weapons of this era. The ones made by the South Belkin Munitions Factory. They're still giving technical assistance to Erugia. And so now, if the Ossian government lands yeah, on... the Osea, too. For all pawns and their great they game. No choice, including this guy. The media got wind of Harling's whereabouts. Whoa! Someone just slipped past the space elevator's radar network. Does that raise our chances of success? No. Still 35%. Well, what if the guy who just flew right in was really crazy? Define crazy. Still standing at 35%. Well, if you can like quantify the uncertainty for me, I can recalculate with higher precision. Either way, there's going to be an upset. Things are finally going to move.